Okay, and the other side of accountability is being accountable for the call of God on your life and all the gifts and talents, okay? Okay, someone would be like, hey, what are you doing about that preaching gift on your life? What are you doing about the nations? How are you going about, uh, you know, forwarding yourself into the call? And that's not a striving thing, but like, what are you doing about your calling? Don't just sit on the couch and watch TV. Come on, man, you can do it. Let's do this thing. Let's go preaching. Let's go witnessing. Let's do something. You know, you can hold someone accountable for what God has called them to do. Amen? You can encourage each other. You can pull out the gifts in one another. Because how many know you have, your, you have your own blind spots that you can't see? And sometimes people on the outside, they can see you better than you see yourself. And they can call things out and be like, hey, man, do you know how awesome you are? Do you know that you have, such, you have this, like, evangelistic thing on your life? You're like, whoa, what? I didn't know that. I'm a, like, I'm a shy person. I'm not an evangelist. Well, evangelists don't always have microphones in their hands. Sometimes they're the ones quietly walking around the streets and getting people saved. You hear what I'm saying? You know, when you're a community of people, those two things can come out through accountability. Isn't that awesome? When you're around people, they can pull out the goods in you. They can pull out the best in you. And they can like, you know, it's all about community and connecting. They might be able to connect you to the very person you might need to be connected with to fulfill your call. Amen?